At the other guard, a senior, six feet, four inches tall from Philadelphia, number three, Nate Blackwell. Blackwell. <laughs> nice soft touch, a little left-handed jump shot. Temple's Nate Blackwell makes the steal, sidesteps along, stays in bounds, and scores. Preseason first team All-Atlantic 10. Blackwell was Cheney's first recruit when he came to, to Temple University. First, Blackwell gets back for a steal. And then on offense, a spectacular twisting pass for a Tim Perry jam that seals the win. And then more from Nate Blackwell using the glass. Blackwell has got things all in perspective after this victory. I think tonight, more than any other night, I didn't have to tell the guys what to do. Uh, as soon as we seen him change defense, the guys knew exactly where to go. And, uh, you know, everything went smooth the second half. It, it was really a smooth game. Didn't make, maybe it didn't seem like that, but it really was smooth. It, they made it a lot easier for me. Nate Blackwell from South Philadelphia, went to Southern uh, High School, uh, was uh, Public League Player of the Year back in 1983. We fell short every year I was there. We, we were semifinalists every year, and we lost to the eventual champion. Franklin, we were, my freshman year was Franklin, then the next year was Mass Bomb. Then the next year was, every year we lost to the eventual champion. Uh, me and I don't know if you remember a guy named Big Mike Richmond. Uh, we had a guy named Jody Johnson who was like a, you know, if you talk now, he's like a street legend. Uh, Kevin Williams, Leonard Murchison, who's a referee. And uh, we, we, we were pretty good. We were pretty good. Well, we had Dorico Washington. You had uh, uh, Bruiser Flint. Uh, yeah, yeah, Pop Lewis. Uh, we had some pretty good basketball players here. I caught all the younger guys when they were young. Uh, uh, the Hank Gathers and the Bo Kimballs and... You know, all of them, they were in the league also, but they were younger. They were like in the 11th, 10th, 11th grade, so we kind of picked on them back then. Evans, oh, nice chase to Blackwell for three, and he drove it. Came to Temple. Uh, was John Chaney's first ever recruit at Temple. Uh, was All-American here in uh, 1987. I was 27 picking the draft. Uh, played in the NBA. Played with the uh, Gold, uh, San Antonio Spurs and the Golden State Warriors briefly. And uh, I actually coached here from... Uh, 91 to 93, and then back again from 96 to 2003. Nice penetration, soft touch, Blackwell. Each guy would play against the other guys in the summer league, too. And so, you know, you had bragging rights, you know, who won that game, and, and then a chance to play against a guy who, uh, you know, you might not have got a chance to play against one-on-one -on -one in the Sun Hill League, because the Sun Hill League was more a mano a mano as opposed to team, so, you know. Uh, and the Sixers would bring, uh, you know, their summer league team down, and we would play against those guys. And sometimes, you know, some of the old pros would come along and play with them. So, you know, you might have a guy like Barkley out there playing. Uh, Ryan Anderson, I remember, used to play with them. And, uh, you know, quite a few guys, you know, would come actually come out and play with the rookie team, because, you know, we, we, we packed it in, back, in here back then. You know, you know, we were in McGonagall, but you might get a whole 2,000, 3,000 people to come see a summer league game back then. Blackwell, Blackwell up strong. It was just great. I think it was the, the competitiveness of the era was was unbelievable. Like I said, and you know, we had some really, really good basketball players come through. St. Joe's with Mo Martin and them type of guys. And you know, Villanova history speaks for itself. And you know, like I said, LaSalle was coming up with Lionel and those guys just coming on board. We were a lock at that time in terms of being a top 20, top five, top 10 program, you know, every year at that time. And uh, the Blank Brothers, Coach Cheney used to call it. Myself, Nate Blackwell, and Eddie Coe. Nate Blackwell, the player of the year in the conference. Look at this, baby. Uh, the good players find a way to win, don't they? Well, you know, I think it's, it's different because it's uh, because of what we did, because of the things that we've done. Uh, and I'm talking about all the big five schools, including Drexel. We've made it uh, national programs now. Nice move by Blackwell and the dump to Perry. So it's less focus on the Big Five than what it used to be. Like I said, the Big Five used to be big for us, but, you know, it's not as big now, I don't think, in terms of these kids' minds because, one, the focus is nationally. Uh, everyone wants to be on a national scene. There's more television coverage. You know, back then we had what we call PRISM, 
and we knew we were going to get on prison when we played the big five schools. So, you know, that was a game on TV, you know, and everybody, you know, all of our games weren't on TV back then like they are nowadays. So, you know, like I said, those games meant a lot to us. Where today, you know, you, you look at the Temple's roster now, and they may have 75% of their games are on some type of t television. Blackwell will hit one a moment ago. Now zeroes in for his second in a row, and it's a five-point game. Uh, well, uh, it was me, Howard Evans, uh, Mike Fariswick, Tim Perry, and Ramon Rivas. If you had asked people during my era who was the better team, us or Villanova, that I'm almost sure everyone would say Villanova. Just thinking back. But like I said, we beat them four out of five times. You know, but my record was 128 wins to like 20 losses in my four years. So not only did we have not very few losses, but we, you know, no one really blew us out. Like, you know, we had some embarrassing one or two, but that was pretty much it. You know, like I said, we were, we were, we were a tough team. Uh, we came to win. We didn't just want to win. We expected to win. And uh, that was pretty much against whoever we played. With three on the shot clock, with two, he may not get it off. It goes and counts. I played Tony. We're looking at over 30 years ago. You know, I'm 52 now. I left Temple at 22, you know, and people still remember me. Why they remember me? Because, one, we had great teams at Temple. We put Temple on the mat. But well, Nate Blackwell do. Well, he hit the three-pointer here, scored 11 in a row at one point, had 25 in the game. But, two, I'm from this community. You know, people will look at me and they, you know, they might even give a stare for a second like, hey, that guy looks familiar, you know, and then it'll come to him. But I get that everywhere I go, you know, like, you know, the city of Philadelphia remembers Nate Blackwell and they remember Nate Blackwell because I'm from the city of Philadelphia, you know. Blackwell. A three-pointer. Blackwell comes up with the two. Sudden after that last timeout, it seems that Cheney's got his butt to put it in overdrive.